Well, today is not only President's Day, but the kickoff of school vacation week. Parents may be looking for some things to do with the kids, especially outside of the house. One popular choice, skiing and snowboarding. ABC 6 meteorologist Tim Studebaker joins us now live on the slopes of Yagu Valley. Tim. All right, well, good evening to you. Yeah, they are uh, preparing to groom the hill here at Yag Yagu Valley in preparation for some night skiing. But earlier today, the sun was shining and the February chill was kind of back. And so what better to do on a sunny winter day than go skiing or snowboarding? And if you had that idea today, you were far from alone. Skiers and snowboarders out in full force at Yagu Valley on Monday. For some, it's a brand new experience. Well, this was our first time snowboarding, so we took lessons before we started. There are a lot of falls, but I think that as you progress through the week, you're going to get a lot better, have a lot more fun. Now, you may think yesterday's temps in the 60s and recent rainfall would mean less snow, but it turns out it's fog that you really have to watch out for. You get the foggy days, we can sit here and watch the snow really get eaten off, but warm weather and temperatures and rainfall doesn't really affect us as much as you'd think. And with colder temps tonight, they're expecting to make more snow. As soon as we see those temps dip down, we're going to put some snow on the hill. And of course, the tubers were taking advantage of the slopes too. I'm really excited about tubing and it's going to be really fun. I do have a tip for you, and this comes from experience. Wear sunscreen. You may not think that you're at risk for a sunburn in the middle of winter, but actually the UV rays this time of year are just as strong as they are in the third week of October. Plus, with all that snow on the ground, that reflects the UV rays back at you, so you are at high risk of a sunburn. For now, live at Yagu Valley, Tim Studebaker, ABC 6 News. All right, Tim, thank you. If